Alright, so now it's uh, 20 minutes past 12 and I just finished exercising. Uh, I ran a half marathon together with Kia and it was pouring down so we got very wet. Uh, then I had to shower her and I had to, you know, remove all the clothes from my body because they were drenched and then I rode 41 kilometers on my spinning bike. Uh, it's community day today, slack off. It's one of the least exciting communities, community days in quite a while actually. Since uh, slacking is not meta relevant with the move it's given, which is body slam, unfortunately. One would wish that they would give it a fast attack so that it could actually do something. But then it would be very overpowered because it has such a huge uh, attack stat. But as it stands, it's not that interesting. Uh, yeah, it's still a decent defender, but I think Dazzling Gleam is actually better than Body Slam. So it's not really any improvement at all. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, Naya, my trans friend, she declined to uh, meet up today because she is occupied with other things. She is turning 17 tomorrow, so happy birthday to her. Uh, but I might get my neighbor, Matilda, who lives uh, opposite my opposite door, to come with me. If I'm Lucky, I mean, she seems like the kind of person to say one thing, but then do something else, like uh, it was with my previous neighbor, Abby. She would say, oh, we are going to do that and that and that, and then nothing ever came of it. And I don't like that sort of behavior, because I am a person who is very, you know, bound by my words, so that I do what I say and expect others to do that as well but not everyone is like that some people, you know, they just take things as they can and that clashes pretty much with my autistic uh, tendencies in that regard, because I am very, you know, you should do that when you've said that, and you should do that when you've said that. So I'm very, you know, focused on details and doing what you've said. And when you don't do it, I can get a bit upset. But it's become much better now than when I was a child, because then I could, you know, just freak out, because I was so angry. So, yeah, I asked my grandmother if she wanted to take a walk, but she said no, she's busy. She's probably hanging out with her boyfriend. Yeah, my grandmother has a new boyfriend, and he's 12 years her junior. She's 70, and he's 58. So it's a bit scandalous, but if she's happy, then it's great. Even though it eats quite a lot of time that I have with her, because she's very uh, focused on him at the moment. And I don't have that many people in my life, so when she is not present, I notice it very quickly so the weather now is much better than it was uh, when I went out running four hours ago and uh, it's going to be quite decent today actually uh, Otherwise, yeah, I really don't have much to add about things that have happened. 
I feel quite alright today. I mean, I ran 23k in less than two hours in pouring rain, so that is mind power and willpower. If anything. So I feel quite great about that. I don't think Kia likes it that much, though. I mean, we both got drenched, so I have to shower her very closely. And, uh, yeah, she's uh, been a bit groomed and so now. So, she's just lying there behind me, chilling, because she's quite tired. I mean, she weighs six, less than 6 kilograms and she runs a half marathon, so... It's a lot of steps for such a small dog. But I'm I'm not running any distance as long than like 25 at most with her. And now when it's summer and if the days get hot, I'm not going to run that much with her. Since she will get overheated. Uh, fortunately there is a... Uh, you know, a uh, water outlet, house, whatever it's called, uh, by the parking lot uh, near the uh, crematory, called for crematory. And uh, there I can shower her and allow her to drink and so. And uh, I've done so when it's been hot outside. And today it wasn't really necessary since she got so wet, but she's clean now. <coughs> uh, I actually understood the meaning of the, a song that I've heard so many times in my life and uh, never really thought of, and that's... Uh, uh, my name is Luca by Nina, the woman who sang 99 Red Balloons in the 80s. My name is Luca. I live on the second floor. I live upstairs from you. If you hear something strange, strange at night, some kind of trouble, some kind of uh, just don't ask me what it is. Just don't ask me what it is. It's actually about uh, domestic abuse. And I didn't understand that until I actually listened to the lyrics. What you might hear in the background is uh, my water spoiling, or which is spoiling. So I'm going to go. and turn it off as soon as I finish applying uh, mascara. I think it's just I'm close. And uh, that song, my name is Luke, it seems like a uh, woman blames herself about being abused. And she tries to find excuses and so, so 
she doesn't seem that committed to leaving her partner. The thing is that song is like 30 years old. And of course, I mean, domestic abuse has always been an issue. Both women attacking men and men attacking women. And, you know, same-sex couples as well would probably have their fair share of uh, domestic abuse. And that's not positive for us. I know that there was a lot of uh, domestic abuse in my family when I grew up. I mean, my mother was very mean to my father many times. She could throw things, she could insult him very deeply, she could, you know, threaten him and all that. And my father, most of the time, he just took it, but sometimes things just boiled in him and he wouldn't get physical with her. And she would, of course, get physical back, and then they would just attack one another, and that was not something that me or my siblings enjoyed watching, of course, or experiencing. It was quite harsh, you know, for children to experience that. Uh, my parents, they were not that good parents, unfortunately. My mother, she could be a solid rock for me sometimes. Since I was very insecure about everything. You know, my sexuality, my identity, my self-esteem and all that. But she could be very vicious and evil, actually. And she showed it when they divorced how evil she can actually be. So she's no longer part of my life, as I've said before. So makeup is on. And yeah, I'm going to end this video here. And I might do. I was training today, I'll have to see. I'm, I'm going to eat now because I'm very hungry. And uh, when it's community day, I'll meet Matilda at 14.30. If she's up to it, she might back out, I don't know. And the weather, it looks quite decent. It's a bit cloudy now again. But I don't think it's going to rain anymore. So, yeah. Bye-bye.